good morning good afternoon and a good night welcome back to my channel um i am trying to get videos out so if you see me in the same topics because i'm trying to get content done so filming a few videos okay so i mentioned in my last video that i really wanted to show you all some resources that i've kind of gathered over the course of this year so far that i really think have been beneficial with my christian walk okay so um let's get right to it okay we got time so first thing i want to mention let me let me yeah let me start from the top so of course a good bible um is i think beneficial and by good bible i just mean bible um <laughs> just read the word ask the holy spirit to help you and guide you so um there are tons of bible bibles out here and i actually saw a video of a young lady i'm going to try to find it and and tag it in here because she really i really think that god spoke to me through that video because she was talking about how she had been searching for the aesthetic bible the this bible the that bible um with all the bells and whistles and she finally just settled on a good life application study bible black no pink no nothing no bells no whistles i mean it had the bells and whistles because it's the word of god but it didn't have that aesthetic that she was looking for, but it was where she needed to be, right? So I've had my Jesus Bible for a hot second. I wanna say four years. I think it was Mother's Day of 2020. My husband gifted this to me and I love it. I did get it recovered. So it does not look like your Jesus Bible on Amazon because I've had a custom cover put on here. So first and foremost, get a Bible. Get a translation that works for you you have, you know, KJV, NIV, NLV, ESV. I think some translations, I don't know all of them. I've, you know, you, you might want to steer. I don't know. I just say get one that works for you. Ask God to guide you to that translation that's going to help you understand and the, the language and, and so forth. I digress. I have had this Tony Evans Bible commentary I want to say since like 2016, 2017, I don't even know. It's been a hot second. Um, maybe not that long. Maybe not that long. Maybe 2019, maybe 2020. I don't know. Actually, I got it since, I've had it since June 2020. I actually wrote it in there. So, I actually probably got it at the same time I got my Jesus Bible. So anyway, I've been torn because, of, I'm about to drop it because of all the things, and I don't even know the whole story with Tony Evans, but I do love this commentary. And I don't know, I, it's been on my bookshelf for a minute. I do think it's super useful and it's been beneficial to me. Like the breaking down of scripture has been great using this, but I have been on the lookout for a new commentary. If anyone has any suggestions, I do want to keep this because I can't take away the value that I feel like it still has, but it just really messed me up with everything that came out. But I will say that this is a really great commentary and I still think it's a good resource, okay? All right, I'm gonna stick with like big books for right now. Um, this, so I have a home and I put this in my 2024 like Bible stack resource for the year. A home and illustrated Bible dictionary. Now, I know that there's tons of dictionaries, Bible dictionaries out there. This is the one that I have been able to come across. I found it at Barnes and Nobles and not disappointed at all. I think it's very beneficial. Um, yeah, it has a lot. And I think it was on sale. It says it was $39.99. I really think I got it for less than that. I want to say like $20 or something. But anyway, it's super, um, I'm going to say super a lot. It has color, okay? It has maps, it has diagrams. It, it, it's intense, okay? Um, yeah, so get you a good Bible dictionary. I, and don't get me wrong, we can use our phones to look up things. We can use um, Google, you have apps. But if you want something that is hands-on, I'm a hands-on kind of girl. I need texture, I need to feel it, I need to see it. And I need to be able to go to it. And I need trusted resources because Google can sometimes take you down a rabbit hole when you're looking up something. And so I really do like having something like this. Do I use it every day? Absolutely not. Um, but I, if something is bugging me and I'm like, what does that mean? Go to your Bible dictionary. So I really think that's beneficial. 
the last big book I have, at least I think it's the last one. I actually just got this. I have a Strong's Concordance. Oh, that's not the glare. This is the, the new Strong's Expanded Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, red letter edition, Hebrew and Greek dictionaries. Um, yeah. Yeah. She's, she's big. Okay. So I recently just got this. I think I've had it maybe a week, maybe a week and a half. And I know how to use it and I'm so excited. And do I use this? Will I use this every day? No. <laughs> Yet, at the same time, there are times when, you know, there are things and I feel like I pray that God will lead me to dig deeper into a verse, into a passage, into a chapter, into a story that I've probably been reading for my entire life. I, you know, gave my life to Christ at 12, um, but God will take me back to it and reveal something else through it. And so I felt like I need to really have some resources on hand, not just Google, but things I can go to to really dig deep. I really want to do a video on the Strongest Concordance as to how to use it because I had to watch a few myself. Um, but I think this is a great resource, okay? Some other books that I, and I've mentioned these in my other video, Prayers That Work by Kevin L.A. Ewing. I think this is a really great, it's a thin, lightweight book. You can throw it in your purse or whatever. Um, but it's a prayer book. It's, I think it's really great. He brings scripture into your prayers. We're supposed to pray with authority. And then I have the promise book, the Bible promise book, which was also suggested by him um, I, during like your fasting to be able to pray those scriptures. So I think these are good resources. I really need to use this more often myself. Um, and I, like I said, I stick this in my morning bag. Um, once again, I need to start using it a little bit more myself, but I do think it's a really good book. Um, I've used it. Um, yeah, I, yeah, these are my two like little books that I would suggest. So those are what I have so far as far as Bible resources, walk with God resources. Um, and I think they're great to have. Yes, they can be expensive, but I didn't buy them all at once. I literally have bought every one of these things by them individually over the course of time. Um, like I said, I think this was like 20 something. I got it at Barnes and Nobles. I think it was on sale. This one, the Bible, Tony Evans Bible Commentary, I got on Amazon four years ago. Um, and then the Strong's Concordance, I think this was like maybe $25 on Amazon. So do not feel as if you need to rush and buy everything at one time because no, that's, that's not what we're doing. But I do think over time, if you can, if it's in your budget or save your coins, if it's something that you really, really, really want, holidays are coming up, put it on your wish list. Um, I think these are some really good resources to have to just really help with your walk with God and breaking scripture down and passages and so forth. So I'm glad I got this video done. I'm glad I'm, I'm going to get it out to you guys. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, share the video. I would love to have you join me here on this channel. My goal is to definitely be more productive on this channel with balance and motherhood, wifehood, being a nurse, being a sister, being a, all the things, right? A daughter, I'm so many hats, but I'm happy to have this channel and to be able to come to this little corner of the, you know, of the, of the world, of the universe and really share the gospel and really um, just do what I feel like I'm called to do. So I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day, a great weekend, it's Friday. And I will talk with you guys in the next video. Bye.